Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. We're doing some more GB Studio work today, and I'm working on a new project, which is going to be a series of tutorials on how to create an arcade style vertical scrolling shoot 'em up uh, where we have it's kind of in the spirit of the old 1942 video game uh, where you have the airplane that's flying around and you're attacking the other planes flying and trying to stop you. And this this will be for the original Game Boy. And if you want to keep up with these every time I make a new tutorial, press that like and subscribe button or add this to your favorites or bookmarks. And then you can be the first to know when the next video comes out. Or if you like any of the other videos I make, it's a good way to then go back and catch prior GB Studio tutorials because I have made quite a few of them. So hopefully those can help you also. Uh, today, we're just doing the sprite work. I'm going to make a good guy airplane, a bad guy airplane, and some bullets. And the program I'm using for this is Piskel. I like Piskel because it is free and it's browser-based. You can save your work uh, locally. You don't have to save it on the cloud. And you can go back and edit it later, or you can even export it as sprite sheets that work good with GB Studio. And then also here I have handy the GB Studio website. Uh, I like going to the to the page that has to deal with sprites because it gives us access to these colors here. If I wanted to, I could download the Piscal palette and import it here. Um, where it has our option here for palettes. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can add these pictures in, or these colors in manually, and it'll also keep those handy for your uh, images on there. Uh, so to begin with, we're here with Piscal. And the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to click on resize on the far right-hand side of this. And for our image sprites for GB Studio, uh, these can be 16 pixels by 16 pixels. Mine are already set that way. Uh, so you'll need to make sure yours are 16 by 16. And then you'll click resize. Then the next thing I want to do, is I would like to uh, fill in my background with the transparency color. So using image sprites on GB Studio, it doesn't recognize no color as transparent. You have to use this real bright green, which is pound sign 65FF00. That is the color that looks like a fluorescent green, but it doesn't show up on your Game Boy. So I copied it from here. I'm going here to the color selector. And then I'm going to paste that over the top and enter that in there. And now I have this bright green. I'm going to fill it in with my paint bucket tool, and it makes it look super bright, a little distracting. Uh, and that's going to be my base layer. And then I'm going to go over here on the right-hand side, and I'm going to add a new layer to this. So uh, let's go ahead and make our hero plane first. So now what I want to do is select this darker color. It looks black, but it's not quite black, and these have to very exact colors to work with GB Studio. So this one is pound sign 071821. And then enter that in there. And then I'll go use my pencil tool here. And I like to have my sprites all like facing like they're traveling to the right. Even though this game is going to have the airplane going up straight up, I want it to be facing this way. Maybe put a window right here for the cockpit. Let's go with this right here. Here. This is the pound sign 86C06C. Then I can use my 
paint bucket tool in here to fill that in. All right, this is frame number one. Now, if you're okay with that, you can leave it as is, but I want mine to have a little motion to it. So I'm actually going to go here and duplicate this frame. And then here I'm gonna just erase the outer edges of the propeller. And then I'll duplicate that frame. And now you can see up here where we have kind of that motion of that propeller going on. I think that'll work nicely. And then the other thing that I wanna do is add like kind of an explosion type of uh of an animation with this and i'm just going to include it on the same uh sprite sheet on here i'll go here to i'll duplicate it i guess that'll be okay and then i'm going to select maybe this bottom part i'm going to erase that out of there and I left this top part so that it keeps my palette colors here on the right hand side. And then actually, I probably only need the uh, dark color for this, actually. So this will be just like kind of also a three frame animation. And maybe here kind of on these four sides where the animation is going to start i want that to be a little more centered so i'll use my selection tool then i'm going to hold shift and then click and drag till that's about where i want it to be i think that'll work right there i can duplicate that slide Clear this out of there, and the next one is going to be like I think that's going to work. And then for the last part of this, we'll duplicate that and add one more frame. Delete stuff in there and go back to my pencil tool, making sure I have this color selected. And this one is going to be just kind of like a ring of smoke. There we go. And maybe just add a couple more accent or a few more accent marks here for that. So here's the plane. And then if I wanted to see just how that explosion looks by itself i can actually delete three plane parts we can see there where we have our explosion and i think that's going to be fine for the game boy uh now i'm going to undo with Control z to bring those airplanes back and this is my first plane that i have done this is the good guy plane that we're gonna save the world with uh, so if I go over here to save, and it asks me what I want to call this, so I can go here and I will type in uh, Hero Plane, and then I'll go Save as Piscal. That's going to put it in my Downloads folder. And then I want to go here to export. And it asks me what I want this to be. And I actually want this to be, uh, there are six of these frames. So I'm going to go six columns by one row. And I do want the resolution on there to be 16 by 16 for these. Uh, to keep it so it's not like scaling it bigger or smaller or anything. And then I'll go and select this sprite sheet file export. I'll click download. 
and it's going to put that in my downloads folder. Now for the enemy plane, you take out this back part, use the darker color. I'll go like this, I think. And kind of narrow that wing on there like that. And then if I wanted to, I could maybe go back here. Kind of go off the back of those wings a little. Maybe put a line there and a line there. And maybe using this color again. And now we have this kind of biplane uh, going on with the double wing looking action on there. I do think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll change the tail up just a little bit also. Go something like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so there is that plane. These other two planes I have on here, I don't need those right now. But then I'll duplicate this plane just like I did with the one before. And then I'm going to erase. Oops. Eraser, not the pencil. There we go. And then I'll duplicate that one. I'll take that one out. And now I have my enemy plane and my hero plane. So let's save this one. We'll go here to save. And instead of calling this one hero plane, I'll call this one enemy plane. Save as a pistol. And then I need to go to export and change those columns to six on this one. And download right sheet file export. All right, and if I go here to my downloads folder now, I have my enemy plane on there. I have my hero plane. And then I can copy these. And then I'm just going to put these into a folder that I actually have on my desktop that I called Vertical Shooter. Paste them right in there. All right, then the last thing that I probably want to do is make my bullets that I want to use. And I suppose I could have made the bullet that had this explosion as part of the bullet, but that's all right. We, we already have the plane on here. That might be something that I would try differently down the road is have a bullet image on here and then have the explosion with that. And actually, you know what, I, I could just do it this way on here, it would be easy enough. Uh, so let me erase those pieces out of there. And I'm gonna take out the airplane part on there. And if I select my color, this is gonna be just, I don't know, nothing too fancy. Enter it in there. And I think that'll work good for our bullet. It's going to be kind of big comparative to the plane that we're flying, but I think it'll be visible on the smaller Game Boy screen. So here's the bullet. And then I'm just going to go ahead and leave this explosion on here. And that way, every time that I make later on, I decide to make another enemy or a ship or something that we want to blow up. Um, we don't have to add this to all those other elements. We can just keep it tied to the bullet. That'll make more sense to you later as we get on to making this game. All right, so let's go here and we will go to save, call it bullet. Save it as a pistol. 
and we want to export this and this one only has four frames so it's going to have four columns download that and then we can go here to our downloads folder here and copy our bullet file and paste that into the same folder so those all those image assets are there together and there it is that is the first part of this tutorial i think the next thing that we'll work on is going to be uh, the tile map so be on the lookout sometime down the road uh, when we start building like a sample level and creating all the tiles that we would need to to make that level but i think this will be a good way to get us a start let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on another one of these tutorial videos down the road i appreciate you taking the time to watch and hanging out on the code peterson youtube channel